Yeah, look Every day that they see me, they like, what's up, dude? What's up, dude? I tell them not much, but we know it's not true Got a to-do list that every day I gotta run through Guys, welcome I don't back small to another edition of Mikey Polis We're set up in a little bit of a new spot today We're gonna see how this works You'll have to let me know if you guys dig this um, It's kind of a makeshift little studio, I guess, if you will um, Gives me a little bit more of a blank background Of course, I got my gophers State of Minnesota flag. What we're doing today is we're gonna do another unboxing of Bespoke Post. I love doing my Bespoke Post uh, subscription. This is not sponsored by them, but this is just, again, this is kind of a, a review of things that I enjoy. Hopefully you guys find some benefit in it as well. But um, Bespoke Post is a subscription mail service. They send you very artesian one-off gifts. Are very hard to find if you can even find them anywhere else. They're just very unique. They partner with a lot of really cool small businesses which give them the opportunity to get their brand and their products out to some people that maybe don't know about them or if it's in a different part of the U.S. or, or what have you. So it just gives people the opportunity to find some really cool stuff that they usually couldn't find. So we're going to open up today. Um, I got this guy. We're going to actually use a little bit of an overkill. But this was another um, item I did get from Bespoke Post in my trail box. It's a hand forged knife, a little hook on there. So again, overkill, but I figured it'd be appropriate to use my Bespoke Post knife doing my, my opening, so. Put it back in here. Some handmade leather. These are from Nabfly Inc. Uh, doing business as Bespoke Post. So this is straight from Bespoke Post. Um, we got leather, leather slippers. And then they come with a little uh, Eucalyptus the Room Spray, Brothers Artesian Oil. This is a room spray. You spray it in the rooms to make them smell nice. You can spray it on other things and they'll smell nice too. You can spray it on someone else, but you should probably ask them first. But we're not going to tell you how to live your life. That's funny. So these, one thing I really dig about these. So, one, they come in a size 14, which is very hard for me to find stuff in a 14. I currently actually have mine right now. I've always been a big fan of Minnetonka moccasins. Wear them around the house all the time. I got the ones that have a little bit of a harder sole. So I do, I my other pair, I have another pair of Minnetonkas that I will wear outside even. Uh, if I'm just running out to grab something out of the car or whatnot, but um, I always wear my Minnetonkas. But the issue is, is the back for me always gets squished down and then they sit kind of funny. Where now these new ones, they don't have a back. They're truly like a slip on slipper, which I think will be really cool. I'm excited to try them out. I also have really, like, I mean, obviously wearing a 14, I have big feet, but um, I'll be curious how these hold up. Soles are a little bit thinner, but they are harder than we'll say like the Minnetonkas. The Minnetonkas you can bend and are soft. These ones, you can bend a little bit, but I mean, these are, it's floppy rubber. These are more of a hard sole. But I'll be curious with the slip on because like I said, the back of mine always gets squished back here because I'm sliding my feet in and out and they stretch, they really stretch. Um, where these ones, try one on. Ooh, they're very fluffy inside. I love me a good fluffy sneaker. I love me a good fluffy shoe. Line of trade is the tag on this guy. Get this off of here. Nice. It's gonna be good. I mean, I like I said, I've always been a fan of Minnetonkas, which are tend to be um, pretty spendy, but they do last for a long time. So it's one of those where you kind of make that investment, and you can have them for a really long time. But these will be these will be nice to compare. 
So as you can see, a little bit more of a thin profile, the harder, harder, more rigid with the open back. Cool colors though, having like the kind of the camel-y, I guess you'd call it, the light leather and then the brown leather on the side. But they look very uh, hand-stitched on the sides. Very low pro, almost look like a, it almost look like a loafer, like a true loafer with no back. And then you got some nice fur on the inside for all you fur fans, for all you uh, PETA members. You guys will love these. I've been wearing the bespoke pokes around the house a little bit. They are extremely soft and warm, but I have a little bit of wider feet. So you almost have to keep jamming your foot up into the front to keep them to kind of stay on. Otherwise, without the back, they kind of slide off a little bit where even though the back of the Minnetonka is, like I said, like will get squished like this. So even though I said the back gets squished, they do stay on a little bit better. Granted, I've only been wearing these ones, the new ones for probably an hour around the house. So far after the first hour, I think I would stay with Minnetonkas. Again, very soft, very warm, but the one issue, like I said, with having size 14 and a little bit wider feet, they just kind of, it's really hard to get them to stay on your feet. I have to be completely honest because that's what I do. That's what I want to do if I, when I get, you know, boxes from Bespoke or any product that's on this page. I'm not necessarily a product review channel, but there, there are definitely some that I will review. And I want to give my honest feedback um, to you guys. So if you find something you like, then, then you can get it. Or maybe you've been interested in something and it's something that I do a slight review of on my channel and I don't find value in it. Then, then hopefully anything I, I say or do on here will, will help you guys out in some form or another. And, and I have to admit, I, I, don't, I don't like how these slide off and, and fall off your feet. They're really hard to keep on. Um, I love bespoke posts. It's not going to change anything with me doing uh, my subscription service. But to be completely honest, I just I don't like when I walk. And maybe it's the way I walk. I'm not sure. But... I don't like how they kind of slide and shift on the back of your feet. And when I say I walk and they slide, this is what I mean. Like my feet just kind of slip out of the sides of them, which I don't care for. So for me personally, I would give this box, the hibernate box. Um, I'd swap right out of that into something else. They have so many cool, cool items and products on there. So I would personally do that. So I'm going to be probably returning these ones, but again, that's not going to stop me. I will, I'm looking forward to my, my box next month and my review of my next product. So that was a short, that was a little bit of a shorter video today. Um, kind of doing it in the, the new little studio, if you will. Um, I'm thinking I'm going to end up changing up some of the stuff in the background. I'm going to have my screen print shop in here too. Uh, so it's going to be kind of a multi-purpose space, but we got some good light, a little bit of a more of a blank canvas for us to work from versus up in the office. So thanks so much for tuning in to today's video. Welcome back again. The next one that I'm going to have dropping next, it's actually debuting and revealing a really, really big purchase change and project in our life. I've leaked it a little bit in some other videos, but that's going to be my next video. So thank you so much for tuning in. To not miss that next video, make sure you hit that notification bell, that red subscribe button. And with that, we'll catch you on the next video. Bye. Yeah, look. Every day that they see me, they like, what's up, dude? I tell them you want to get $20 much. off your first box from Bespoke Post and try some of the same products that I've had, head down to the description box below and there's a link that you can click on and sign up and you get 20 bucks off your first order. Like, what's up, dude? I tell them not much, but we know it's not true. Got it to do 